What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. In this video I made for the people with the 6.15.00 baseband who either wish to update to 4.3 while preserving your baseband, your jailbreak and unlock, or people that are bricked on 4.3 with the 6.15 baseband and you can't restore your device. And it will be the same method for both ways. So if your device is bricked and it could be stuck on this screen, it could be black and unresponsive at all, but it can be fixed. Or your device can be perfectly fine on 4.2.1 and you just want to update to 4.3. Now once your device is on 4.3, unlocked and jailbroken, you got to know that it is semi-tethered for now. Of course, until a new jailbreak comes out, I'll have a link up here that you'll want to watch to get the untethered jailbreak. But for now, it is semi-tethered, meaning if your device is turned off or you have to reboot it or your battery dies, once you boot it up, it will work perfectly, except Cydia or any apps from Cydia will not work until you use iBooty to boot your device okay so once you got that down plug in your device and you will need three things one you'll need the custom firmware for your device which I've prepared for you guys and uploaded it and there are two varieties new and old boot ROM so you'll need to know your serial code for your device and if the third fourth and fifth numbers are higher than 945 then it is a new boot ROM device. If they are lower than 945, then it's an old boot ROM device, and you'll get the old boot ROM firmware for 4.3. You'll need iReb as well, and iBooty. All links will be in the description, which will take you to a link to my site. Now, if you still don't know which boot ROM you have, new or old, read the description and it'll help you out. And a couple ways you can learn your serial code if your device isn't turning on, or if it does turn on, you can just go into settings and see it there. But if you if you can't access your phone, obviously you won't be able to see it. Just pop out your SIM card tray and on the back of it, you'll actually be able to see the serial code. And another place is on your box as well. So, Or you could just go download both of them, see which one restores. And that's another way, of course. All right, so now we can begin. Make sure your device is plugged in again. And you will need iTunes, the latest version. All right, so go ahead and run iReb as admin and click on your device right here which will be a 3GS of course and we're going to be putting it into a Pwn DFU mode right now so prepare to hold home and power in 3, 2, 1 now hold them together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until iReb recognizes your device So now it will exploit it with Lime Rain, and in just a second it'll be done. There we go. So click OK, and you can exit out of iReb. Your iPhone screen should be black, and now go ahead and open up iTunes. And OK, it'll give us that error. And now what we do is we hold shift on our keyboard and left click restore at the same time and select our Snowbreeze 3GS 4.3 IPSW, okay? And click restore and now it will begin extracting and our device should be restored in about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my iPhone has finished restoring, and if yours hangs on the Apple logo or the loading screen for the restore, it's not a problem. We just got to fix it with iBooty. So make sure it's still plugged in, close out of iTunes, and open up iBooty, and run iBooty.exe. And you're going to have to do this even if your iPhone turns on normally because Cydia will not open. And just to warn you, every time your iPhone battery dies or you have to reboot it, you will have to run iBooty in order for it to for Cydia to work properly. So go ahead and select iPhone 3GS and click start. Now you're going to put it into DFU mode. I'm just going to do it real quickly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now hold home button and it will exploit it with Lime Rain, allowing it to boot normally with Cydia working. And that'll pop up, just hide that. And it's done. So now 
just wait for your 3GS to boot up and I'll be right back. Alright, my iPhone has booted up after the restore and it's good to see the iPhone working again. And now in Cydia, Cydia is now working. So go ahead and get it set up. Remember you're a user and I'll be right back. Now search for Ultra Snow in Cydia and click on it. Now you'll want to install it, it'll ask you to respring and then you can pop in your SIM card and you will be unlocked on 4.3 as well as jailbroken. So I really hope this worked for you guys, if it was bricked, I really hope it. you guys got it fixed. If you did, leave a comment letting me know how it went. So thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and have a great day. Enjoy your iPhone.